questions have come up about respirators. And I think the most important one is that in many industries, people will use what's called a dust mask. And that is technically an air particulate matter respirator. And it must have two straps. It will have NIOSH printed on it, N-I-O-S-H, standing for the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. And if the label requires a respirator, it can be a uh, N95, P95, P100, N100, uh, then you must use that. And you must have respirator training as to the limitations and the uses of that respirator. That respirator can only be used for one day. And now the definition is if you are out there for five minutes, you use the respirator, you come out, it's one day. You throw it away. And if you have a negative pressure, half face or full face respirator, then you must change the cartridges out after one day, whether it be five minutes or a 10 or 12 hour day, doesn't matter. And those are some of the nuances that people don't get all the details. Respirator training, the way we do it, is in conjunction with the specific pesticide label training so that the employee is able to say, oh, this pesticide requires this respirator, I'll know to go get that. And they leave with a an employee training record, and we also give one to the uh, uh, employer. We keep a record of it here uh, digitally now on the iCloud so that we can access that whenever we need it. Respirators must be kept in a hermetically sealed container. Uh, they must be kept clean. They can't be transferred from one person to another without sanitization. Uh, those are some of the hit and misses that we see out there, and people will get in trouble for doing that. Fines will vary by regulation. Title III is the Ag Code. Title III is a little less expensive than Cal OSHA, but under the California Department of Pesticide Regulation, if you have three people out there that did, should have had respirators but don't, it could be up to 7,000 a piece, 21,000. Whereas with Cal OSHA, the Cal OSHA says, whoa, one person was out there and it was a very serious violation. It could be 25,000 for one person. And if it's repeat willful, like I said before, it could be 130,000 for each of those violations. Pesticides fines can be as low as 500, even some 250. But anymore, again, the California Department of Pesticide Regulation is trying to get people's attention by higher fines to get everybody to go uh, to higher safety and a higher level of safety. I've been asked about respirators and the filters on the respirators. Filters on the respirators depend upon what chemical is being used. And without getting into the exact details, there are pesticide filters, usually by color, that will be for organic vapors, acid gases, chlorine gases, or others. And those are assignments are made through either the NIOSH guidebook or through the pesticide label. But there is not a one size or one kind of filter fits all when it comes to the respirator filter that's used by employees. I believe that in my 33 years of in the safety profession, started in January, excuse me, December 1st, 1985, uh, it, we weren't very good then, and as I look in retrospect, but we've come a long way for the safety of our people, and I mean a long way. And now they're raising the fine, so I guess they're going to pump us over the edge and be perfect. I'm not sure that's possible, but we got to go for it because those are the regs.